hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so guys as you guys can tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about what do people say behind your back when you're not around now before we get to this video i just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by rose forever and you know valentine's day is right around the corner look at this beautiful bouquet that they sent me guys so beautiful pretty and pigmented so guys, Rose Forever is a New York based brand launched in 2019. They design luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that stay fresh and gorgeous for at least a year. Each rose is handcrafted by a professional flower artisan and treated with natural oils to preserve its freshness and beauty. The flowers are carefully arranged inside a hat box inspired by Parisian chic style offering dozens of style options based on customer and influencer feedback. Rose Forever has developed a collection over the past five years. They offer uh, over 12 rose shades resulting in an infinite number of options to choose from. So here you have it guys, a beautiful bouquet for a beautiful occasion. A Valentine's Day is right around the corner. As you guys know, this is the time of romance. So you could add this to your centerpiece, in your kitchen, in your living room, in your bedroom, your office space. This is a great gift for your parents, a great gift for your loved one, like your lover, or for yourself, you know, if you wanna pimper yourself, also it's a great apology gift if you did something wrong and you want to get back into the door okay <laughs> so you can utilize my discount code for $30 off I will put that information down in the link below in the description box below as well as the link to their website and a discount code for free shipping and guys, I will put the discount code over here as well for you guys to utilize on your next purchase, okay? So let's get back to the video. Hi guys. So pile number one, you're going to be the Moonstone Crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the Clear Quartz Crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the Rose Quartz Crystal. So again, pile number one, Moonstone Crystal. Pile number two, Clear Quartz Crystal. And pile number three, Rose Quartz Crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the Moonstone Crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say? We have the four of cups. I heard stingy. Four of Cups is not stingy energy, it's more Four of Pentacles, but I'm getting stingy energy, meaning you don't, like you're emotionally unavailable. 
like you come off as boring to some people because you don't, I feel like you don't really share that much about yourself to others. You're more closed off. Oh, I heard also miss opportunity. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say? We have the Ten of Cups, okay? So that you're family oriented, like your family is very important to you. Ooh, I heard chouchou du professeur, that's teacher's pet. Mm, if you are in college or university, some people may say that about you. Maybe you go to a French university or college. Wow, I got one specific, La Cité Collégiale. That's in Ottawa, in Canada. So if you go like, yeah, because I heard in French, le chouchou du professeur. So that's the teacher's pet. Somebody's saying that about you. Yeah, that's what they say behind your back when you're not around. When you leave, maybe the teacher really likes you. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Oh, we have the king of swords. Are you highly intelligent? You're very stoic. Yeah, like emotionally unavailable. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. Okay, you're very focused. Some people may think that you're intimidating. That's what they say behind your back when you're not around, that you're extremely intimidating with the devil here and the king of swords. You have very like this uh, strong uh, authoritative demeanor about you with the King of Swords and the Devil here. We have the Nine of Cups that you get your wish fulfillment. Like people may say behind your back that you're lucky or things comes to you naturally. You don't have to work hard for it. People are like definitely watching your blessing here. Like you get your desires. You get your wish fulfillment. Some people may even say that you are selfish because you don't, because you're not emotionally available to them. Like you're closed off. So they may call you selfish. They're trying to pre in your personal life, but you're more closed off. That's what I'm getting here. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the death card, Scorpio energy. You're definitely magnetic here. I'm getting with the death card. Also, I'm getting like the energy of you being transformative, resilient. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around, that you're extremely resilient. Maybe some people may know of your story, what you've been through in life or how you had to transform. Some of you, it could even be people from your past saying that about you, that you're emotionally unavailable to them right now. Like you're not invested in them any longer. You're more closed off. You're more reserved. You're not um, opening up to them like you used to. There's something about you being closed off that is bothering or triggering some people. Like some people may feel entitled to your energy, to your time, and you're more like, nah, like you're giving them like, you know, I heard cold shoulder. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the queen of cups, emotionally intelligent, highly intuitive, emotionally in tune with the queen of cups energy. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Yeah, you're emotionally, you know how to read a room. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Wow, we have the chariot, cancer energy, and we have the emperor boss energy, okay? Yeah, you're definitely intimidating to a lot of people. You have a very powerful presence because we have three powerful energy, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Aries. Very powerful energy, very powerful presence, and you're very structured and disciplined. Maybe I feel like this could be work related. People at your workplace may say these things about you because you're so focused on work. You're structured, you're disciplined, you're strong will, you're dedicated. Individual with the chariot and with the emperor, like you stand strong. You're very, um, like, uh, you have amazing leadership skills with the emperor energy here. You speak like you have authority. Ooh, I heard authority over your enemies. I don't know what's going on here for pile number one, but yo, you may have secret enemies here. Secret haters in your workplace. They may have some sort of an animosity towards you. You may not, they may not show it in their face. They may give you a fake smile, but energetically you could feel it. Maybe that's why you're closed off. We have the chariot here, like definitely structured and disciplined energy. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the moon. There's definitely an air of mystery about you. People try to figure you out, but you're kind of hard to read. 
that's what I'm getting here with the moon card. That's what some people say like, yeah, you're closed off or a snob. I'm also getting like snobbish energy, but you're not a snob. You're just closed off and you may be just an introvert. And I feel like because you have a powerful presence, it makes people uncomfortable that you are an introvert because they want to know what you're thinking about, how you're feeling. And it's like, you don't want to share because it's like, you're only there to do your work and go home. And it's not like you're rude or disrespectful to people. But it's just like you're very closed off it's like i feel like you're not the only introverted person at your workplace but you're the one that's most talked about like people are just so intrigued by you they all want to know what you do outside of work what are your hobbies what are you you know like they're just so curious we have the page of cups yeah i'm gonna like emotionally page of cups is not emotional unavailability but that's what i'm getting here with the page of cups because we have the king of swords here that's kind of like telling me that you're very in tune with your emotions but you're very closed off when it comes to people trying to prey on your like they're trying to find out things about you that you don't want to share it's like they're not respecting your privacy or they're not respecting your boundaries but you're reinforcing that with your energy so let's say if somebody's trying to ask you for certain information about your personal life, you keep it short, sweet, and simple. And some people may not like that. They want to know more. And it's like, no, I don't want to tell you more. And I don't have to. There's no rules where I have to tell you more about my life than I should. And you keep it like that. And that's what some people may see, like you're a snob or something. Yeah, you see, we have the tower and we have the magician and we also have the three of pentacles that flew out. Guys, I'm telling you, there's people at your workplace are saying these things about you. If you don't have like a nine to five, if you're a freelancer or like you do your own thing, it could be like your neighbors, okay? Or people that you go to school with because I said at the beginning, a teacher's pet, okay? So it could be people that you go to school with if you are a student. But with the tower here, yeah, you're unpredictable. This is what I'm getting here with the tower. You're unpredictable. They can't read you that's the thing that's the problem and definitely with the magician you're definitely skilled and talented at what you do you're a master manifester people could see that like you get what you want you speak things into existence and you get it what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah nine of pentacles a snob i'm telling you you live a life of luxury you're abundant um like you know you're mm, yeah definitely getting that energy somebody could be saying that you're a show off Maybe because you like expensive things, like you have expensive taste. Maybe you like to wear Chanel, Gucci, Louis, okay, Yves Saint Laurent, like whatever, like like high name brands that you like to wear that. You may not just wear that all in one shot, but you like to, you know, wear your thing once in a while. And some people may feel like you are showing off because you have a lot of like, you know, you have good beautiful things you have expensive things and there's nothing wrong with that with the nine of pentacles this is what i'm getting here and that's what people say behind your back when you're not around yes you see we have the star they know that you're a star you have influence you're authentic you're original this is what they are saying behind your back when you're not around some of them they may think that you are an influencer like a youtuber or something like that or like just an influencer you don't have to be a youtuber but you do something online you have an online presence even if they don't know your instagram account or your facebook or whatever account that you have they know that you are like you do something different like there's something different unique about you with the star you definitely have a healing energy that's why they're so drawn to you what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have the world card they definitely Say that you have completed a cycle, you're at a different headspace in your life. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? You could also be a foreigner. Yeah, we have the two of wands. You're definitely a planner. With the two of wands. You're definitely creative adventurous. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. They feel like you have a very active social life. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, five of swords. You're not afraid of conflict. <laughs> With the five of swords. You're not afraid to tell somebody off if you need to. Ooh, we have the emperor again and the king, uh, the knight of wands. Okay, I'm being called to take both. Usually I wouldn't, but I'm being called to take both, guys. The king, the emperor is here twice. This is definitely powerful energy. You have a strong 
very strong presence in your workplace, in your neighborhood, in your building, wherever you live, okay? Um, your school, like even if you may think that other teachers may not know your name just because you're not in their class, they do. Other teachers talk to others and they talk about you. And I feel like even your teachers are very impressed with your work ethics because you have the Nine of Pentacles. In order to get to the Nine of Pentacles, you have to go through seven, eight, in order to get there you know from all the pentacles so you really have to put in the work you can't just get to the nine of pentacles by sitting on your butt you really have to put in the work so this is what's being said about you behind your back and we have the knight of wands you may get a lot of attention you may have a lot of suitors that's what I was getting like some people may say that you're show off with the knight of wands because you get a lot of attention you're very attractive okay very magnetic people just are drawn to you people want to be with you Ooh, I'm getting like Mr. Still Your Girl. <laughs> Some people may, oh my God, they may think that of you, that you might still their girl or their man. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? I feel like you're never invited to social gathering, my pal number one. Like you're, or like it's like last minute. You know when people, somebody invites you somewhere and they say, oh, if you want to come. And it's like, why is it if I want to come? If you want me there, you will say, I want you there. You're not going to say if I want to come. So I feel like this is like the type of invitation that you get and then you feel like the vibe is already off so you don't even bother going. Because if somebody really wants to invite you, they're not going to say if you want to come. They're going to say, I would like to you to come to my party or I would like to, you know, go to dinner with you. They will like make it clear that they want you there. When somebody says, oh, if you want to come, it's like, you don't really want me there. Like, then why did you invite me? You know, this is the energy I'm getting here. You, you may get those type of invitation or no invitation at all because they're mr still your girl <laughs> not that you are mr still your girl but this is what they say behind your back when you're not around like they're afraid of that because you're very attractive you're very magnetic so what do people say behind your back when you're not around Ooh, guys opposition i can't make it up confrontation that's the five of swords energy you stand your ground some people may find you confrontational Okay, that's what they say behind your back when you're not around. That could be like somebody um, specific or like somebody uh, close to you that knows you uh, like, you know, personally. So that could be a friend, family member. I also heard ex-lover. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Or that could have been like you had an issue with somebody at work. Yeah, we have uh, ascendant entrance. Yeah, you you definitely make an entrance, okay? Like you do make an entrance whenever wherever you go. Like, wow, we have fifty three thirty five. So maybe this number fifty three thirty five, and this is a palindrome number because you could read it the same backwards as forward. Guys, this could be like a maybe you look it up fifty three thirty five. Okay, so. Yeah, that can mean something to somebody look up the angel number 30 uh, 53 35 we have fifth house yeah you're very passionate individual you're very creative you may have leo in your chart but you have this like passion about you there's the zest for life that you have what do people say behind your back when you're not around okay that's two Ooh, we have the sun leo energy again guys source and we have Virgo digest and we have the balance at the um, bottom of the deck. That's Libra and energy. So there's something very symmetrical about your looks. You could be very attractive. You maybe have like slender body because a lot of Libras, they have slender bodies, like very like symmetrical. Okay. Very um, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So you may have like very aesthetically pleasing features. Okay. You may have beautiful long hair, you know, uh, beautiful features. Um, I'm also getting like, you know, beautiful skin. Like there's something very like beautiful about you. Like you take really good care of your health. Okay. There's something like very, and then also with the fifth house and the sun, like you shine bright. Like even if you don't want the attention, cause I said you could be an introvert. I feel like heavy on introverted energy. You may just be, um, extroverted with the people that you're comfortable with. Okay. But if you're not comfortable with somebody, you're going to keep to yourself. And that's why like some people, they're upset with you with their boundaries. But who cares? That's their problem, not yours. Like, honestly, like you, you're not forced to say anything that you don't feel comfortable saying. So we have the emperor, like definitely powerful energy. You could be a workaholic here, too. This is what I'm getting here as well. That's what people can say behind your back when you're not around. 
you know, very seductive energy too. This is what I'm getting here. All right. So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the clear quartz crystal. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number two, what do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do we have here? We have the seven of cups. Wow, guys. You know why I kind of like stopped? It's because I, I got a channel song. Um, I think it's R. Kelly. I forgot with who the rapper, but it goes, I'm a gigolo. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but he says something about him being a gigolo. Guys, please don't come for me in the comments, okay? I'm not saying that about you guys, but this is the channel song I got, okay? With the Seven of Cups, you know Seven of Cups is having a lot of options, okay? So, <laughs> some people be saying that about you because you have options, especially if you're a man. Because gigolo is for men, it's not for women. But I'm gonna like heavy if you're a man watching this. That's what people seeing behind your back when you're not around, especially other men that are jealous of you. Because you get women like everywhere you go, or you get other men, like you know, if you're a homosexual, same thing. Like you you know, you get the attention and they don't like that. <laughs> They're jealous. And the same thing if you're a woman, women other women are jealous of you, or other men like are jealous, okay? Like that you get all the attention. You be stealing people. Oh, I heard stealing people's men. Or, ooh, five of pentacles. You leave people out in the cold. I feel like you have a lot of options when it comes to love with the seven of cups energy and the five of pentacles. But you leave people out in the cold. I feel like you have a lot of suitors that are heartbroken by you, my pal number two. And that's what people say behind. Like, you have a string of heartbroken people. And not, like, I don't feel like, I'm not getting like you're a player. That's not the vibe I'm getting from you. I'm getting that people are just spreading rumors and gossip about you because of the fact that you get a lot of attention. So they're trying to ruin your chance with potential suitors by spe uh, like spreading a false narrative about you. But with the Five of Pentacles, maybe you leave people out in the cold if you feel like they're not, because you may have like really high standards. So when you have high standards, you're, you repel people that are low vibing because they're not gonna be able to take advantage of you. So this is what I'm getting here with the Five of Pentacles. You leave people out in the cold. Like when you date somebody and you feel like they're not a potential suitor, they're not like really a good match, you drop them. You don't have time to go back and forth. Guys, I can't make it up. Impress energy. Guys, I can't make it up. You're very attractive. You're very like, you're magnetic. You're attractive. You're creative. You're beautiful. You are the ideal lover for a lot of people. Whether you are a woman or a man, you come off as the Empress energy. You're very attractive, charming, alluring. With the Empress energy, you may have Libra or Taurus in your chart. Or you could be a Libra or Taurus, but you're very attractive here. And people are just not, they don't like that. They don't like the fact that you take all the options. It's like, you know, before you walk into the room, everybody gets a fair chance. But the minute that you walk in, <laughs> all bets are off. Oh gosh. What do people see behind your back when you're not around? Okay, just one second guys there's a card that fell on the floor i'm about to grab it the hermit okay very observant yeah i'm also getting like an introverted individual you're very um shy like you come off as shy and mysterious to some people with the empress and the hermit like they wonder like how come you're so attractive but then you you're 
like you're closed off or you're shy or you don't talk much i don't feel like you're shy i feel like you're more observant type with the hermit energy like you like to analyze the situation before you dive head on but some people may uh, mistake that as you being shy what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have justice libra energy again you have a lot of integrity you do what is right what is fair what is just yeah with the justice card maybe some of you could be lawyers here or studying law criminal law criminology i'm getting like some of you are in, in university for that yeah i'm getting like definitely studying something to do with the juridist wow i can't even see that word <laughs> the justice system let me just keep it short <laughs> wow we have the death card she could be okay so we have two cuspers here so you could be a uh, virgo uh, libra cusper or libra scorpio cusper okay or you could have those three um in your chart but we have the death card very transformative energy powerful energy okay resilient that's what people say behind your back when you're not around that you are extremely resilient that you're very powerful you don't back down from a fight what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have the knight of pentacles they're very cautious but you have amazing work ethics i heard diplomatic and it makes sense because we have the libra energy because libra is the diplomat of the zodiac yeah very diplomatic energy with the justice here and the knight of pentacles like i'm getting like you're extremely articulate here as well with the hermit and justice what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the two swords. You're indifferent. Yeah, the two swords is like indifferent or indecisive. I'm like more indifferent energy. Mm, you're indifferent to the uh, advances of people make on you. Like um, other lovers or people that want to be with you people that want to go out with you like people act like say that you act indifferent or nonchalant that's the other word that i was looking for nonchalant with the two of swords and we have the eight of wands yeah very like um, action oriented your gold oriented that's what people see behind your back when you're not around like you always seem like you're traveling maybe they're watching you on social media you may have social media stalkers maybe you travel a lot or you like um t I, I heard you like to take beautiful trips to i heard bali maybe you went to bali or maybe this is where you're from but i feel like some of you went to bali recently and somebody saw your pictures or something like that and they're jealous of you because of the fact that you travel a lot you have the means to do so what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do we have here we have the page of wands yeah very enthusiastic energy childlike nature you're still youthful in your appearance regardless of your age especially if you are in your 40s or 50s you're definitely youthful for your age you look very young like if you're in your 40s people may mistake you for like a 20 year old sometimes you still get id like let's say if you buy alcohol or something like that you still get id'd with the page of wands but you definitely have a youthful um energy to you maybe some of you could be dancers here what do people say behind your back when you're not around Ooh, we have the eight of cups emotionally unavailable or emotionally withdrawn with the eight of cups yeah i'm getting like emotionally withdrawn distant what do people say behind you yeah two of wands you're a planner we have two of wands two of swords two two so you may see this number often yeah you're definitely action oriented you make plans you're a planner you're like 10 step ahead of these people that are trying to compete with you what do people say behind your back when you're not around my pal number two what do people say yeah we have the seven of pentacles wow you're a dedicated individual you're um yeah you're definitely dedicated patient here invested you invest in yourself you invest in your future um, I also heard a scholar, so you may have gone to school and graduated with honors. But I did say that earlier because I'm getting like some of you are studying law or something, criminology. And here with the Seven of Pentacles is definitely saying that you're like a scholar. You invest a lot of time and energy into your studies. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have the Five of Cups. Hmm. 
some people are heartbroken over you with the five of pentacles i'm getting like heart heartbreak the one that got away you may have like a lot of exes that wish they, they never played you or they wish they never let you go or fought harder for this connection because i feel like you're the ex that keeps getting hotter and hotter by the years <laughs> like you're the ex that your ex is the your ex's people still stalk you like let's say if you have an ex of like 10 years ago whoever they're with right now is stalking you on social media because your ex of 10 years ago still thinks about you still talks about you still compares all their new people to you like like i said you're the one that got away what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have the moon card pisces energy you could be very mysterious yeah alluring what do people say behind your back when you're not around wow six of pentacles you're very generous very giving individual i feel like that's why some people from your past like ex-boyfriends ex-girlfriends or ex-friends are very remorseful of like letting you go or not working hard for this connection because they may try to like replicate the energy that you had or they may try to like you know just have a do-over or just redo what you guys did together with other people but it's not the same thing because your energy could never be replaced it can never be duplicated it's only your essence your essence is unique to you nobody could redo you like regardless of how much they try it will never be like you so it's like a unique experience and a lot of people they want to replicate this experience with others but it's not quite the same so that's why there's a lot of remorse or regret there's a lot of people that say that they wish they treated you better especially now that you're glowing up i feel like a lot of you grow glowing up with the empress energy and a lot of your exes are like looking at you now or looking you up on instagram or facebook or whatever and they're like wow like pile number two has blown up pile number two looks good looks better than my girl Ooh, <laughs> we have the lovers guys <laughs> you're the one that got away gemini energy with the lovers you could be a gemini or these people Ooh, we have the devil intoxication guys this devil in this deck i can't show it but this devil in this deck this devil is very attractive i wish to never meet a devil like that because this devil is like seductive his eyes his body his looks so alluring and i feel like this is also people feel about you this is what they say behind your back when you're not around like you are definitely that lover that people never forget okay regardless like i said if it's been 10 years 20 years it doesn't matter you are that one you may even have exes like i said from 10 years trying to holler at you trying to get back with you even if they were with someone else or even if they're married they're still trying to get with you trying to see if they could have a chance with you this is what i'm getting here with the lovers and the devil that's what people see behind your back when you're not around and i feel like yeah you see because i can't show those two cards because you know youtube is acting funny so i'm just going to cover it like that we have the four of cups you're definitely a missed opportunity here you're the one that got away from a lot of people it it could just be like also friends from 10 years ago friends from high school friends from college okay maybe they mistreated you because they entered a chapter of your life where maybe you were not doing as well and they thought that this is well this was all that you were so they misjudged you and mistreated you but you were like okay well i'm gonna use that as a stepping stone to become better and you did and a lot of them they're in the four of cups energy where they feel like they're the one that got away or they miss an opportunity with you and this is what is being said behind your back when you're not around like people definitely say these things about you when you're not around they definitely miss you they long for you they wish to like i keep getting like wishing they could do a, have a do-over with you but it's not going to happen because a lot of you are not interested what do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have transits, clim climate. So you transit, you transitioned to something to a level where a lot of people can't come with you. And we have f 55, number five is the number of change. So a lot of change in your life. You've changed, that's what's being said behind your back when you're not around, okay? We have Vesta hearth so there's something about you that is very igniting because we do have this flame in the middle like a ball full of flame 
but it's like in those you know those inter eternal they have that in the parliament in ottawa it's like that flame because the parliament um somebody tried to burn down the parliament long story but i'm not gonna go through the story but like i'm getting like the flame because the the flame in the parliament that ball is like forever it doesn't the flame doesn't go off like every day of the year is still gone even in the winter so i feel like there is something like very powerful about your essence and then you see three and two equals five another five so five 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 there's a number of change there's like a uh, energy of you it says imum koili i don't even know if i'm pronouncing it pro properly but it says root yeah you are a grounded individual that's what people say behind your back when you're not around like you're definitely grounded like your fire is still burning you still have a zest for life like you're very resilient very powerful you're transformative what do people say behind your back Ooh, and then they say that you're abundant with jupiter abundance you may have uh, i'm gonna sagittarius energy yeah definitely sagittarius energy here with the jupiter energy extremely abundant very i'm getting like a lot of luck you have expended oh wow and we have venus beloved and we have the empress here yeah you're very beautiful very attractive everything around you you make um very beautiful and that's what people say behind your back when you're not around but you have a lot of exes that wish they never played you or wish they never doubted you or friends as well because they see you doing well guys again two three that's 23 32 another palindrome okay we had the palindrome for pal um number one and now we have one for you pal number two because two three three two th it's read the same backwards and forward okay so definitely with that energy yeah so look up the number th 23 32 angel number it could be a message for you in there okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two Bye. Hi, Pal3. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number three, you picked the rose quartz crystal. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to sponge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do we have for you here? We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so healthy amount of self-love, but you're also the ideal lover. So you have a lot of suitors, a lot of people that wanna be with you, that want to date you, but you come off as very unavailable, like closed off when it comes to love. Like you're loving yourself, like you, you come off as you're on your self-love journey. This is what I'm getting here with the ace of cups like you know you're you're spending more time with yourself you're going out to spas you're catering to your needs like you're in your soft girl era i'm getting like especially for the women here soft girl era and for the men here i'm getting like you're even though you're not in your soft girl era but you're still in the era of like healing doing your shadow work healing like childhood trauma going to therapy working out more eating healthier taking care of your health um, I'm getting like taking care of your prostate. I don't know why I'm getting that for specifically somebody just went to, to do the, their annual checkup to make sure that they're healthy. You're, you're taking care of yourself. And this is what people are saying behind your back when you're not around. You definitely look healthier. You may have lost a lot of weight or gain a lot of muscle. Maybe you were slimmer before and you wanted to bulk up. There's something about your appearance that changed. What do people say behind your back? Guys, I can't make it up. The lovers. I can't make it up, guys. Gemini energy, you're the lovers. 
you are the number one choice. There could be somebody trying to choose between you and someone else and it's like a no brainer. If you're dating somebody, they may be dating someone else, but they're going to choose you. They're choosing you because it's like a no brainer. Like I said, wow. Ace of pentacles guys. You're a great catch. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. With the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, to Lovers, that's a great catch here. Okay, wow, we have the Tower, Unpredictable. You're hard to read. But you're definitely a great catch, my pal number three. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. There's an air of mystery, allure about you. Whenever somebody feels like they know you, they always learn something new about you. Like there's like a something different yeah we have the page of wands you're very enthusiastic very young at heart youthful in your appearance very attractive you're definitely in your prime regardless of your age you're in your prime like you're very attractive let's say if you're older here you attract um like you know if you're 35 and up or 40 and up like i just feel like 35 and up you may attract younger men or younger women like let's say if you're 35 i feel like you may attract like 29 years old 28 years old even 25 year old like people 10 years younger than you they still want to holler at you and i feel like even if you tell them your age with the, the tower they're like so shocked that you you look so youthful and they don't even care they're like they still want to holler they're like yo you look good for your age i still want to, i still want to holler like i still want to date you i don't care about your age you know, like they, like the age is not even a barrier to you. Like you get either younger or older or people the same age as you, but you have options when it comes to love. And you're always like the number one option, the person that people want to date, they want to be with, they want to lock down. Yes, you're coming up as the nine of pentacles, living that life of luxury, eligible bachelor and bachelorette. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Nine of pentacles, you live a life of luxury. Some people may call you snob. You're very picky, picky with who you spend your time with. Like you don't mind dating people, but I feel like the minute you see too many red flags, like you see one red flags is too many for you. <laughs> just one is too many. <laughs> so you just dip, you bounce. That's something like unpredictable with the tower. People know that they have to be on their P's and Q's with you or else you're gonna dip because you're independent with the nine of pentacles. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. So you're like, you're a great cash, but you're hard to keep like it's hard to keep you once somebody has you like you know they have an opportunity with you they only have one chance and one chance only if they mess it up you're out like you don't have time to waste because you know your value with the nine of pentacles and this is what people say behind your back when you're not around that's what some people may say like you're a snob like you should settle like boy bye if you know your value and you bring a lot to the table you don't have to settle and nobody should settle in this world like you have to get what you feel like you're worth what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, King of Pentacles, they better put some respect on your name, yo. Uh oh, if they expect you to, they, they can't expect you to settle if you're in the King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Lovers, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. No, you're not settling with no one, okay? If it's not the best, you don't want it. That's what I'm getting here with the King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles energy. You're self sufficient, you're independent. You have your own business here or like you could be a manager or a boss or you have like a very high prestigious position with the king of pentacles that's what people say behind your back when you're not around but you definitely have like like father mother qualities you're very nurturing what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah you're hesitant with the fool in reverse you're cautious like you're not reckless like you don't take leaps of faith without thinking things through we have the strength card leo energy you're very strong. I'm getting like influential. You have inner strength with the strength card. Yeah, you definitely have Leo in your chart. We have Leo, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. But you definitely have that powerful energy to you. A beautiful energy. You bring a lot to the table. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like you bring a lot to the table. You are a valuable individual. You know your worth. Okay, some people they may want to like um knock you down a peg but it doesn't work because you know who you are what do people say behind your back when you're not around oh yeah we have the knight of wands that like you get a lot of attention uh you may have like a lot of jealous folks around you yeah we have the page of pentacles you're cautious you may keep people at arm's length or oh i'm gonna like you're stingy with your love that's that uh beyonce um 
uh, superstar, alien superstar. When she says, I'm stingy with my love, ooh, baby. <laughs> I'm again, like, yeah, that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like, you're stingy with your love. Like, this is why I'm getting, like, you have this, um, basically high standards where you're not going to tolerate anything less than the best. If it's not the best, you're not going to waste your time. And your time is valuable. Whether you are a woman or a man, you want to attract, like, people that are like you, people that are bring something to the table, not people that are coming here to sit and siphon your energy and take everything that you have and leave and go to someone else's table and redo the same thing over again. No, you're not going to deal with that. And why should you? Why should you? You don't have to. Especially if you're, like, this person, like, you have all this energy. No. Why would you want to do that? That's crazy. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Guys, I can't make it up. Ace of Swords. Oh, it's the truth. Like people say that you are, you have a beautiful voice, beautiful singing voice. Some of you could be singers or like you're very truthful, honest in your communication. You're straightforward, direct. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, we have the Sun card, Leo energy again. Like you're very flamboyant, I'm getting magnetic, majestic. You have this aura about you, all eyes on you. People want to be around you. People want to be in your energy. People want to talk to you. Yeah, you definitely have like, a, I'm getting like social butterfly energy. What do people say behind your back? Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles, okay? So there's a lot of cautious energy here. Dedicated energy. Meticulous. Very observant. You may have Virgo in your chart. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, we have the star. You shine bright. You're influential. Yeah, definitely influential. Maybe you have like a social media account or something like that. Maybe you're a YouTuber or they know that about you. Definitely people look you up online. They type in your name. They type in your name in Google. <laughs> they do a Google search on you, especially if they know your last name. Oh my gosh. Google search. They like, yo, investigate you. What do people say behind your back? Wow, we have the strength card twice. That's Leo energy twice, guys. And we have the page of cups. Some people may say that you're very sensitive. That that's why you're closed off. Like you don't um you don't tolerate any BS. That that could be people that actually know you or know like your personality that may say these things about you when you're not around. But you definitely have this magnetic energy about you. Very strong, powerful presence. You call the shots with the strength card. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, very attractive with the Queen of Wands energy. Definitely fire here. Maybe you could have a Leo in your chart, heavy. This is what I'm getting here, a Leo in your chart. Because we have the strength card twice and the sun. And then we have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. Wow. Yeah, a lot of fire. A lot of fire and a lot of earth as well. So you may have earth and fire in your chart. We have air signs as well because we have Aquarius and Gemini. But I'm getting like a lot of um, Leo energy here. You don't have to be Leo, but you could just embody that energy where you're very flamboyant. Your personality shines bright. You're very charismatic. I'm getting with the page of wands. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Wow, we have the chariot. So you could be a Cancer, a Leo Cusper. Don't have to be, but definitely with the chariot energy. Very powerful. You're strong-willed. You're disciplined. You're dedicated. You do what you're doing. Yeah, you could have like a closed-off energy as well with the seven of wands. Like, Or you have strong boundaries here. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, we have Juno partnership. I'm telling you, people want to be your lover. They definitely view you as the ideal lover. And we have the lovers here. And we have Taurus cultivate. Okay, so Taurus energy. You're a very grounded indiv individual. And the card that fell on the floor, I've seen it. It's Capricorn energy. Achieve. You're high achiever. High earner. Okay. You're an extremely dedicated individual. You aim for excellence here. 
yeah didn't i say earth sign and we have the king of pentacles like boy bye like why would you want to settle especially you know have capricorn energy in your chart or you could be a capricorn you're a high achiever high earner and now you're going to go settle with somebody who has no ambition so they could take all your money and like suck you dry why would you do that like you what that's crazy if somebody expects you to do that that's crazy but here we have cultivate taurus so you may be somebody People may say that you're someone who is a very good cook. Maybe they've tasted your food before or you are a lover of the finer things in life because we do have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you like luxurious. You have a luxurious taste. You like to, you know, your senses. So you like to eat, you know, and then drink wine. Some of you may like to drink red wine, steak and lobster. Woo, goy, what is going on? <laughs> What is what you like to eat? <laughs> Steak and lobster potato. Oh gosh. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> and I just ate already and I'm still hungry because of this. <laughs> what do people say behind your back when you're not around? One card, please, spit. Mm, guys, Leo is here like four times. I can't make it up. That's what flew out the deck. Leo, shine. Didn't I say something about you shining, shining bright? Being, you know, the center of attention. Midhaven. Maybe you have Leo in Midhaven. Okay. Something like that. Because we have this at the bottom. Or you could have Leo as your top three. Okay. So Leo, sun, moon, or rising, or something like that. Or Leo in Mars. Yeah, like I feel like if you have Leo and Mars, you're you're very action oriented, okay, and you take like you take action in everything that you do. Like you don't sit back and allow like things to happen to you. You take um, ownership of your life, especially with Capricorn energy as well. You're definitely high achiever. You don't let like your obstacles and challenges stop you. And that's one thing that maybe draw a lot of people to you is like your determination to get things done regardless of like how hard it gets to for you you don't let you know your obstacles and challenges in life get you down you use them as stepping stone to get higher or become better okay so let's say if you experience some sort of setback you're not going to just sit down and be like oh well this happened so i can't make it no you use that as like you know a road map okay of what not to do next time or how to improve your current situation and like you know things to do steps to do and you always figure out a way out of your current situation you don't let life happen happen to you okay you let the things happen for you and then you utilize every experience to better yourself and not you know play the victim here this is what i'm getting here with that energy and this is what people see behind your back when you're not around that's why they really like your character and they feel like you would make a great spouse a great partner because of that because we have partnership here and we have the lovers definitely you have suitors and we have the ace of cups so there's a lot of people that want to be your lover, that want to date you, but you have high standards. So because you have high standards, it's kind of hard for people to get to know you or people to be around you because you don't, you only expect the best. And if you feel like somebody's not the best, then you're not going to settle. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, poll number three. Bye.